What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 82 Team of the Week player, Renato Sanchez, to review today. And I managed to pick him up for 97k. He is going for 110k right now, which means I did snipe him, which means hopefully I'll be making a few coins. But that's not the point, we're here to review the card. 83 pace, 85 dribbling, 85 physical, 80 passing, 77 shooting with the 76 defending as well. A card that looks so well all-rounded, it is crazy to see. He is five foot nine, which means the tackle and interception reach is not gonna be amazing, but he should still put in a really good tackle because of his aggression. That aggression is 93, come on now. The high, high work rates pretty much means he will be helping me defensively and he will be helping me going forward as well. Four star, four star for a player with his ability could be very very nice but not just that it could be very overpowered as well now he is on a anchor chem style he is on 10 chem if you are not happy with 88 acceleration and 88 sprint speed you can go ahead and put a shadow chem style on him but if i'm gonna be honest i feel like i am i'm gonna be happy with the 88 the 88 like it's really not going to matter. Like, it's a midfielder. They don't even need that much pace. The fact that he has that much pace is always going to be a good thing. He has got 79 attacking positioning, 89 shot power, 82 long shots, 72 volleys with 72 penalties as well. And the main stat that you probably try to look at is 70 finishing. 70 finishing. Really, no, that's not going to go well. So I'm probably not going to take a shot with him. Hopefully... If I do get a chance, I will bang a shot with him, like a long shot. And, you know, hopefully he does actually go in. Passing-wise, he has got 83 short passing, 80 long passing, 81 vision, 75 crossing, 71 free kick accuracy with 72 curve as well. So the RBAs, the little 1-2s, that should work. Overtop through balls are probably going to be, like, a bit inconsistent, but I feel like they will still work as well. Now, Renato can actually dribble a ball, which is very good for a player that is such good defensively as well. 87 dribbling, 79 composure, 83 ball control, 79 reactions, 93 balance, and 79 agility. I feel like he's going to feel good on the ball. I just don't know why. Even though the stats don't really say it with the 79 agility and like the 79 reactions, I still feel like he's going to be a player that's going to feel really comfortable on the ball. He has got 78 interceptions, 82 defensive awareness, 87 standing tackling, and 77 slide tackling. Slide tackling being very overpowered this year. I was hoping for his slide tackles to be, you know, a bit better. But the standing tackling being 87, with that aggression being 93 as well, should be really, really good. He has got 90 strength, 96 jumping, and 91 stamina as well. The physicals, by the way, looks absolutely insane. And hopefully, he does show that in-game. Now, today, I have linked him up with Gwei. I've also got likes of Delot, Ikone, and this guy, which I have no idea who he is. But he's in the team. I've got players like, you know... Echiki Kalu, Echiki Kamara, and Yilmaz, which uh, let's not look at a balance. The balance is absolutely terrible. But let's look at the actual Renato Sanchez that we are reviewing. He will be playing in a 4-4-2 in the centre mid role, but I will play him in a CDM role in a 4-2-3-1 as well. But let's get into the games. So let's quickly see how he feels on the ball. Yeah, he feels decent. He actually feels really nice. Look at those little cheeky quick turns with the left stick dribbling. RB turn. Really nice dribbling. Fake shot in front of him. Oh my god, let's go all the way. Fake shot. Pass up there. Bring it back towards the near post. Can we get a goal? Yes, we can. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I definitely did not expect that from Sanchez. Good interception. Really good interception. But he actually makes it even better for my opponent. And he, what a goal. Little cheeky chip and he's going to do this celebration. Interesting. The interception was pretty good, but it just went to the wrong direction. That is insanely lucky. Really good tackle from Renato Sanchez from the back. And that's interesting because I didn't even click. Oh, can he? There you go. He's on it again. On it again, maybe. Oh, my God. He's putting in beautiful tackles here. I'm going to switch the play. Can I switch the play all the way over? Oh, my God. That's an LBY as well. That was not like an X ball. That was literally an LBY. And it landed perfectly on the person. Oh, so he actually makes uh, runs going forward. That's interesting because I remember using... I can't remember who exactly it was. But it was someone else that had high, high work rates. And even with stay back while attacking, they still position themselves like they were playing high medium. And for some reason, Renato Sanchez is actually running forward, trying to give me that passing option. But then he actually treks back right now. 
Let's see his movement. Is he still going to sit there or is he going to run up? I haven't clicked LBA or anything like that. Interesting. So he actually stays close to the center mid. That's not bad. That's not bad positioning at all. That's just him wanting to go forward and obviously get something going. I'm running forward of him because I know he's got the pace and that's what I love to see. Pass up. Can I get a goal with Yilmaz? Oh my god. Yilmaz felt terrible on the ball. But Renato Sanchez just being confident and running forward of him. I'm going to press him. Oh my god. Look at that pace. Look at that pace. Fake shot around the corner. Ball roll. Alec, I'm going to cut back. Someone go into the space. Someone go into the space. Look how long I'm waiting for someone just to go for the sweat. Renato Sanchez is literally doing everything perfect. Just pressing the guy into mistakes. He's going to try to pass it. Yeah, I knew it. The guy was trying to force it into the middle. And I was just faking me going out of the way. Then going in the way. Going out the way and going in the way. It was all about timing. And Renato Sanchez, you can't really, you know. The timing is a bit small because of his pace. We'll roll. Look how good he is on the ball. Like, seriously, look at this. Like, he feels amazing on the ball. And if he can put in those tackles that he has been doing, he's going to be an outstanding player. Through middle. Cover that middle. Oh, my God. Go for a slide tackle or something. And that's what I mean about that interception reach. If the guy or if Renato Sanchez is like six foot, he's 100% getting that ball. But because he is five foot nine, he has to stretch out for a lot of stuff. He's probably going to pass into the middle. No turn. Come on, Renato. You're on that. You're on that. There you go. Beautiful tackle. One thing I've noticed is his aggression. His aggression is so, so good. When just going in for tackles, he knows he's going to come out with the ball. And if he doesn't, and let's say it bounces to like a weird direction, he will go and try to get it again. I'm going to press him here. He is definitely that kind of player that, you know, you don't sit back with. He is a player that is going to go straight into the tackle no matter what. Going to give it to Sanchez here. We are going to try this over to a through ball all the way over to the other side. Do you see what I mean? Long passing is literally on point. It is unbelievable how he can switch a ball under pressure. So perfect. Go on, get there. Oh my God. I definitely did not expect the, the first centimeter to get there. And I didn't even control. I didn't even control Sanchez. And he reacted towards the interception. Use that strength. Do not allow him to get in front of you. There you go. That's unbelievable. Even though the fake shot was not spot on, he used his strength to his full potential there. Did not allow Van der Beek to actually get in the way. And hopefully we do not concede of it. Or maybe we do. Is he not going to cut back? No, he's really going to challenge Sanchez. Come on, Kimmich. Come on. You should know better. Sanchez is always going to catch up to you. And no matter what, when you get into that contact-to-contact -contact situation, it's game over. You're going to get bodied. He's going to try to pass it in the middle. Really good tackle. There you go. Just waiting for the guy to pass it into the middle. Pretty much baiting him into me tackling it. And it's perfect. Come on, Sanchez. He's probably going to try to go back into the middle. So I, all I need to do is pretty much cover the middle. And wow. Wow, wow. That was a good interception. But really, really bad. When it comes down to manual intercepting the ball this year. I'm telling you. The bounces players get is absolutely embarrassing just like that another manual interception that just goes straight through the legs so it is time to review him and i tell you what three games one assist isn't too bad i was expecting at least a decent finish with him but it was the occasion where it take it, it took him two years to actually take the shot to build it up and then actually take it and by that time the ai just comes in and goes for a block or the ai just comes in and goes for a tackle which was super annoying but either way, shooting, I definitely do not advise actually trying to take a shot with him. Because even the long shot, when he had a decent amount of space and it was wide open, it just went to Narnia. Okay, so don't even try to take it. Him being 5'9", I must say the interceptions weren't top tier. But if we're being real, he's not really there to intercept the ball. He is there to put in amazing tackles. He is there to be very aggressive when going in for those tackles. So leave the interceptions for someone that's actually big and more rely on him going in for a tackle. Him having the high, high work rates was really nice. Like him defensively, he was further back than I expected. But when going forward, he was further forward than I expected. I was expecting him to be kind of in line with the center mid partner, which was, I believe it was gay. Yes, it is. Which has that medium high. And I have used high, high center mids before. I put them on stay back and they don't go up. But with Renato, because he actually has decent attacking positioning, 
he tends to go up and helps me which I don't mind but the only problem is you are going to get counter attack time to time now the four star skill moves you can pull out if you pull it out if you really want to the lack of Keta, the burb spin you can do all of that but I didn't really do skill moves with my center mids so that's why I didn't use it the four star weak foot though is absolutely crucial when it comes down to passing because the lot of free balls were spot on the ground passes with RBAs were spot on with a person that's going to have two star weak foot they're not going to be spot on you will know that for a fact now when it comes down to pace I could definitely say his pace was what I expected. Him to be insanely fast and you definitely do not need the Shadow Chem style. Please do not put a Shadow Chem style on him because you're just going to waste it. Now, I would honestly give his pace a 9 out of 10. But I have used faster players that I have given a 9 out of 10. So I will give his pace, I would say an 8.7 out of 10. Which I still feel like is really, really good for a midfielder. Shooting... I'll give him like a 6 out of 10 because his animation is so, so bad. So I definitely do not even suggest going for a finish. Passing ability, I will give him an 8 out of 10 for passing. Actually, I'll give him an 8.5 because it's definitely up there with some of the best I've seen with those overtop through balls working with both feet and those ground passes and everything like that. So dribbling wise, he was really good at dribbling. To be fair to him, he shielded off the ball so, so well with that high strength and it just allowed him to be very composed and obviously allowed him to keep the ball under control and just pass it away after that. So dribbling, I will actually give him, I'll say an 8.5. He's really good when it comes down to under pressure dribbling. Defending, standing tackles, unbelievable. Defensive awareness, pretty good. I did see a bit, you know, a bit bad defensive awareness time to time where he didn't really attract a run, which I wanted him to. But it was not, you know, it was not the end of the world. You're going to get that occasion time to time with pretty much every single player. Slide tackles was really good. Interceptions was good. But because he is 5 foot 9, it's not insane. So defending, I will actually give him an 8.3 out of 10. Now the thing that makes his defending the best, not the best actually, good enough, is his aggression, his strength, his stamina. And you could even argue he's jumping. But jumping doesn't really come into it too much. But strength and aggression is what it does. The strength and aggression is so, so good when he goes in for tackles. Because he is instantly onto the player. No matter what. And that's that pace. That's that aggression. And that's that standing tackling. All coming into play. And if I'm going to give the physicals a rating out of 10. I would honestly have to give it a 10 out of 10. Without a doubt. His physicals are so, so good. But a overall rating out of 10, he is one of the better midfielders I have used. But he's not, you know, absolutely insane. So, so if I had to give him a rating out of 10, I will give him an 8.6 out of 10. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.